Okay, tech fan, so I finally got my hands on what most people are saying is probably the best vlogger's camera that you can get, the brand new Sony ZV-1. So let's unbox this bad boy and uh, see what it's all about. This is really going to help me a lot. You guys have noticed I've slowed down on my hardware review stuff because I really haven't had a way to film it. And honestly, my Canon, you know, is such a high-end camera for me and I've never worked with cameras before that I you know, just really like the way we have it set up. So I wanted something else to be able to film my videos and do all my B-roll. So we're gonna see if this camera works really well. But for today, we're just gonna unbox it, talk a little about, about some of the things about it, and then um, we'll move on in the future and use it. But real quick, just before I do the unboxing, I'd appreciate your guys' patience if we could just hear a real quick word from today's sponsor. So let's check it out. Are you looking for a code for your favorite game? Or maybe you need a new Windows 10 key, but don't want to spend a lot of money? Here's your chance to get the best deals online at CD Key Sales. Game codes are as low as $10, and Windows keys are under $15. And right now, you can save an additional 18% by using the code TT18 during checkout. Buying has also never been easier. Just create your account, select the items that you want, put in the discount code and complete checkout. All of your purchases will be in your account ASAP and all the keys and codes are guaranteed to authorize without a problem. So save big today and buy with confidence with CD Key Sales. The particular Sony ZV-1 kit I got this is a really nice kit. This is the vloggers kit. And once again, I got to give a huge shout out to Jonathan from TLD for sporting me and getting me this thing. And it's pretty cool because it not only comes with the camera, it comes with this little like stand that's also a, a like, it's kind of like a gimbal. It's not, a, you know, totally movable gimbal, but it's a handle that you can hold on to and it makes it easy to film and stuff or it can set on the desktop. And this particular kit, um, they have it at all different places at B&H and Amazon and stuff like that. And it's about a thousand dollars. So first off, let me just set this off to the side. And uh, I did buy one other thing. I bought another battery. So I have another battery for this and I have a charger coming as well by Watson. I'll have links for all this stuff down below. So, but real quick though, I'm trying to make sure this is a focus. Now, one thing about my EOS 5D Canon is that it doesn't really focus on much other than my face. That's just how it you know, how it does it. It focuses on my face. And then, you know, after that, it's hard to focus stuff. I'm trying to look on the camera, look at you guys at the same time. So sorry, I'm trying to find a way this looks good so I can unbox it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and start by that. Um, you guys, I don't think really care about the box, but if you do, here's the front of the box. Here is the side and then the back of the box. Not much exciting there. We're going to open it up. Now, this camera does 4K, it does 1080. It does crazy slow-mo stuff. I guess it was easier than I thought. Let's just check it and get it up here. Um, this camera is crazy for what it is. Now, I know there's going to be people around the internet it's hard to unbox this and keep it in focus like this. That's why I can't wait to have a different camera. I can just focus on the B-roll and not have to worry about this. But this camera does great for what it is. And for under $1,000, it's got a lens that's not removable, but it's kind of like a 35 millimeter lens. And honestly, the old Cameron Gius, I asked him the most common lens he used, and he said was the 35 millimeter. So you've got the paperwork in here for the camera, the instructions and all that stuff, and the how to get it going. Um, one thing I can tell you right off the bat that I'm not too thrilled about this particular camera and everything is that the battery life's not very long and the battery charges inside the camera, which some people might think is a plus. I think that's a minus, you know, so I bought an outside charger because I just don't want to get stuck with that. Now, they're saying you can run it plugged in all the time and, you know, if you want to do that, you can do it. So we've got a nice little USB cable here. I'm sure this is for probably everything, for charging, for transferring stuff, everything. This is that. And then in this hand, sorry, I'm kind of shaking because I'm like, I'm nervous you guys aren't going to be able to see this. I don't want to bring crappy videos to you guys. Now, also something interesting is the microphone on this camera is supposed to be really great for vloggers. And I'm trying to get this out of the bag. It comes with this, you know, little rabbit tail, little funny thingy here, you know, to keep out the pops and wind and all that stuff. And, it's, and supposedly it works good. We'll find out as we go along. Today, we're just doing the unboxing because I just got this stuff, all right? All right. So... We'll stick that back in there. 
And then next up is actually the camera itself. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the box so I can quit shaking and trying to do two things at once. I'm gonna set them on the floor. And uh, here we have the camera itself. It's very small, very small. And for the first time, um, it actually has a pop-out view screen. So you now have a pop-out view screen. You can flip it around to view it. Uh, I guess this is like something that a lot of people are, are loving about this particular unit. All the controls and everything are all on top, except for there's a little bit of controls that are right here. Um, understandably, this is made, I think, for people who are wanting simplicity and want to just be able to film stuff and get up and going without going into this crazy menu and like trying to be a scientific thing. Like, honestly, like John has some cameras that to me, like they had the red camera and stuff, I would have been looking at that thing. It's a space shuttle because I've told you guys a million times, here's a million to one. I don't have a background in filming and cameras. I just don't. It's been in writing and overclocking and other stuff that I've done in the past, not filming. But I want to do it. And even though I appreciate all John's help, I need to learn how to really edit and do all this stuff myself. And you guys have all said you'd watch my videos, even if the edit thing was totally bad. So hey, maybe in the beginning, my you know editing might be pretty bad. Now, I don't know right now. I'm going to see right here. Okay, well, I tried to turn it on, and I guess the battery, it doesn't come charged whatsoever, so I'm not going to be able to turn it on for you guys. Sorry for looking away from you guys. I'm not trying to disrupt you or be rude. Um, on top, there's a little mount right here, though. And, uh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, here we go. So right there, you've got a mount where you can put, you know, either a, a microphone um, and different type of things. And I'm not trying to do all the specs on this, but I believe that this actually works for power for certain things as well. But as I use the camera, I can tell you guys more about it. Right now, I've read up about it and I've seen some stuff and I know that it has a cool lens, you know, that works really well. It has a really great autofocus, which if I put this up in front of my face using this camera, it will switch to this. And when I move it away, it'll switch back to my face. So that is something good about it. Now, there are some things, however, that I have heard from reading you know, up on reviews. And it seems like if anybody is trying to use this with polarized glasses, um, it's people are saying that they can't use it, they can't see what's going on. Also, another thing is, is that people have told me if there are two faces like mine and somebody else was here that it just basically you know flicks back and forth because it can't you know determine you know who it's trying to lock on to now if i start interviewing people again like i did in the old days which i don't think i'll probably be doing until i move back to california next year is you know it's just going to be me on camera and then the products i do on camera so it's a nice camera I think that for what it is in the price range and all the reviews i think it's going to be really perfect for me you know it's got you know, like Ferrari features, it's got all this like triple smart features for, for all the camera stuff and all the editing and color and everything. I mean, it's got a shite load of features, a lot more. I'm not a camera guy, so like, I can't really sit here and tell you, okay, well, this feature is better than this one or this feature is better than that one. But what I will be able to tell you guys as I use it is I'll be able to tell you guys, hey, wow, you know, I've never had any kind of experience, you know, using the camera. <laughs> I just noticed that I'm actually looking at the screen, not the camera. So my apologies, my bad. I guess I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to get all this out of my head and do a good video for, for you folks today. So anyways, I got the camera, but also there's an accessory that I was talking about. And I'm going to set the camera off to the side. We can go ahead and take a look at this. I'll go ahead and pop this out of the box. And this is the handle and the little stand that I'll be able to actually set on the desk and film myself. So if this actually ends up working really good, I probably may end up using this or only the new camera that's coming out. Uh, Sony is releasing a new camera on the 28th and that's what I plan on getting for all my videos and then ditching this, this Canon up here because the Canon is just like, it's cool, but it's like, whoa, way too much stuff for a beginner type guy. Okay, so I've got a 64 gigabyte E270 Sony. This is the, the little SD card that comes with the setup. So that's pretty cool. So wrap the bat with this. You can stick it in your, in your camera and get going. So we can set it off the side. And then there is going to be the stand slash handle slash operating thing. And this particular thing by itself, if you were to buy it, is about 150 bucks. But I guess it does work with more than just this camera. So this particular unit I'm taking out could be used with your camera or many others. There's, there's obviously instructions in here. And what else we got in here? Looks like we've got some some foam, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Oh, there's a battery in here. Okay, that's gonna be to operate it. 
And this looks like kind of a carrying case. And then we've got nomenclature, you know, all the standard stuff. But I think this is gonna be pretty straightforward to use. I mean, how hard is it going to be? It's gonna have a couple of buttons, you're gonna press them and they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that they think that this is like just way too small. I mean, they must have some pretty big freaking hands because honestly, that fits pretty good in my hand. I can see where somebody said it's a little bit smaller if you guys can see this, but it does leave my finger kind of hanging on the bottom. So I guess in that respect, it is kind of a little bit small. All the control buttons, let me see if I can get this anywhere where you guys can actually see it good. Sorry, I'm not meaning to diss you guys by not looking at you. You've said them multiple times. I'm just trying to find a place where you guys can actually see this with the autofocus on. I don't know, maybe I'll move it right in front of my face and it'll do it. It just keeps moving to my face. But anyways, all the control buttons, everything are located on this. Let's mount your camera onto here. There's a little stand. It pops out like this. So you can set it on your desktop, set your camera on there and film yourself for vloggers and people doing that, which is really what this camera is really totally geared for. It's geared for like, you know, people who are out on the go, don't want to, you know, drag a big old camera around. They can just take this with the handle and be out and shooting wherever they're at. And, you know, I think that's pretty cool. So let's just uh, go ahead for, for a second here. Let me see if I can just mount this thing on here. There is a little click here thing. Excuse me for a second here, folks. All right, here we go. Get it nice and on there. Okay, we got that on there. So now we've got the little handle. I'm trying to see how this thing moves back and forth. I'm not really sure as of yet. This unlocks it. Okay, that makes it turn. Sorry, I'm trying to learn as we go. But yeah, there's all kinds of features right here. So you can see now I've got it and it's a camera so I can take it out, pop my little flip screen out. I've got the viewfinder on it right there for me to watch anything I'm doing. The button for record is right here for filming. So honestly, this, this, little, this little handle is actually pretty awesome because you can take photos, you can do your movies, you can do pause, you can lock it so nobody else can use it. It's actually pretty cool. And like I said, if you're at a desktop, you just make a couple quick moves and then boom, you're up and going on a desktop filming whatever it is that you want to be doing. So overall, I'm very, very, very excited about this. Um, I was actually like feeling like I was having anxiety attacks in a couple days waiting for it to get here because that's like, oh my God, I want to do this, I want to do this. And then it came yesterday and guess what? All my electricity was off. Welcome to Kentucky. We have thunderstorms and lightning, seriously, almost daily here. Weird. It's like the middle of the summer and outside right now, it's storming, raining, thundering, and lightning. I'm from LA. If you're from California or the West Coast, you know what I'm talking about. In the middle of the summer, it's not raining and lightning's not shooting down, you know, a block away from your house, right? It's just not. So, <laughs> hey, maybe with this, I can actually get some decent footage with it. Because with, with my, my phone, I got, a, I got a Google phone, and I don't know. The video and pictures in that are okay, but when I see people with their iPhone 11, I have, I have phone envy. I know, right? I face that too, but no. The, the iPhone 11 just seems to be for filming, photoing, and everything else, the best like camera thing on a phone that there is that exists. So I kind of want to get my hands on one of those and try it out. And you know, I think the combination between that and this cool little bad boy, and I should be up and going. So I thank you guys for watching the unboxing. Um, there are other you know people who have made videos out there that are real camera guys that can tell you a lot more about this if you're thinking about buying it. Like I said before, I'm not a professional camera guy. I'm a beginner, but what you'll be hearing from me as we go along is how well, like I said, this works for a beginner because I'm either going to be telling you guys, oh man, this has been the best experience. This thing is awesome for the price. Or I'm going to be saying something like, oh, you know, it's cool, but uh, you know, uh, I just have to use it a little while and figure out, you know, all the elements about it and then take advantage of those things and try to bring you guys even better videos. So rock on, peace out. Uh, I hope all you guys are safe and healthy out there. You know, be conscious of others, love your brother, love your neighbor, please. Right now in these times of the world, we all need to love each other more. We all need to care about each other more. We all need to let each other know that we're there to support them. Honestly, if you know another person of a color or race, you know, and you're white or something and they think you hate them, just walk over to them and tell them, hey, hey, you're just like me. We're just people all sharing this ball called planet Earth. Love your neighbor. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys for putting up with me all these years. I'm actually starting to show my age a little bit. Peace.